hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is tessie and today we'll be learning how to sew a short with side pocket if you're yet to subscribe to my channel kindly do so let's get right into it so i folded my pattern paper into two and on the starting point i have my waist and from the waist i came down to my hip and from the hip i came down to my crotch to get your crotch is your hip measurement divided by four inches and from that crotch line i have the short length so that's the length of my short. So now what I'll be doing next is on the hip line, I'm going to be inserting my hip measurement divided by 4 inches. So my hip is 40 divided by 4 is 10. So I'll be adding 1 inches for seam allowance. So I chalked 11 inches. Now from that 11 inches, I'm just going to connect it straight up to the waistline. So next on the crotch line, I'm going to be inserting my round lap measurement divided by 2. So my round lap measurement is 26 inches divided by 2 is 13 inches. So I'll be adding 1 inch for seam allowance. So I'll be chalking 14 inches on that crotch line. And I'll be connecting that crotch line to the hip line using my curve ruler. I'll go ahead to connect it to the hip line. After doing that, I'm just going to blend that hip area. Go ahead to just blend it in. So what I'll be doing next is on the short length, I'll be placing my round lap measurement divided by 2. So my round lap measurement is 13 inches. So I'm just going to chalk that 13 inches. And I'm going to connect from the crotch. I'm just going to connect it straight down to the short length. So on the waistline, I'll be placing my waist measurement divided by 4 inches. So I placed my tape on that point and I chalked my measurement divided by 4 and I also added 1 inches for my dart and also my seam allowance. So I'll go ahead to chalk my measurement at that point and from that point, I'm just going to connect it straight down to the hip line. So on the waistline, I'll be coming down by 1 inches. So I came down by 1 inches on this point, And I'm just going to connect it to the waistline. So guys, as you can see, we are done with the front pattern. I'll go ahead now to cut out my pattern. After cutting it out, this is what we have. So I'll be using the front to cut out the back pattern. So for the back pattern, after placing my pattern paper just like this, all the allowance will be on this side of the pattern. So on the waistline, I'll be coming in by 2 inches after the front pattern. You come in by 2 inches. On the hip line, I also came in by 2 inches. And on the crotch line, I came in by 2 inches. If you're on the plus size, you can come in by 2.5 or 3 inches. And on the short length, I also came in by 2 inches. So I'll go ahead now to connect the dots together. Using my free hand, I just connected them together just like this. Now on the waistline, you know we came down by 1 inches on the front pattern. So on the back pattern, I'll go up by 1.5 inches. You can go up by 2 inches, but I'll be using 1.5. So I went up by 1.5 inches and I connected my back line to that 1.5 inches I went up at. And from that point, I'm just going to slant it straight down to the waist, front waistline. So I went ahead to just connect that down part. So guys, we are done with the back pattern. I'll go ahead now to cut it out. So after cutting it out, this is what I have. And I'll cut out my fabric. As you can see, I've cut out my fabric. And this is what it looks like. So guys, first thing first is to place my dart. So what I'll do is fold my fabric into two. And I'll just stitch my dart i'll do the same thing for all the pieces after stitching this is what it looks like as you can see my dart my fabric is too bright 
so what i'll be doing is just chalking out the back area so you don't get confused so i went ahead to chalk out the back pattern so you don't get confused so after doing that what i'll be doing next is working on the front part you know we are attaching side pocket to it so i have my two fronts together just like this so on the waistline i'll come in by three inches so i came in by three inches and i'm going down by seven inches so i went down by seven inches i came in on the waist by three inches and i came down by seven inches so now what i'll do is just connect the three inches to the seven inches line after which i'll go ahead to cut it out so after cutting it out i cut out the pieces and i have 11 by 15 inches i cut out 11 by 15 inches and i have two pieces for the two side pocket so what i'll be doing is just chucking out the back pattern so you don't get confused so now after doing that i'm just going to place my front short on it just like this you place it on it just like this and you go ahead to trim out that part after trimming it out what i'll do is open up my two front sides as you can see please do not confuse yourself the crotch part is different from the pocket area the pocket area is shorter so what i will be doing is placing the fabric that i cut out on the front shot just like this you place it on it and you place the other one on the other shot so i'll just place it on it this way and what i'll be doing is i'll be stitching half an inch so you stitch half an inch straight down to the pocket area and you stitch half an inch straight down to this point as well so guys after stitching i'm just going to be notching the area that i stitched so after notching this is what i have if you open it up you can go ahead now to double stitch on that area but i'll be leaving mine this way so what i'll do is take this pieces and place it to the end of the other pieces just like this you place it to the end of this pieces and you go ahead now to stitch half an inch straight down to this point to secure your pocket. You stitch half an inch straight down to that point. I'll do the same thing for the other side. So I'm just going to place that pieces on the end of the other pieces just like this. And after placing it, I'm just going to open it up and stitch that part down. So after stitching it down, this is what i have as you can see I'm gone ahead to iron that pocket area as you can see my pocket is pocketing already so, so you know initially before we attached the pocket we came in by three inches and we came down by seven inches so now to get my my shape back what i'll be doing is on that waist point i'll just come in after that pocket line by three inches you come in by three inches and you are just going to connect that three inches straight down to the where the pocket ends then we are going to be cutting it out you shape it straight down to that pocket area then you just shape it out so this will give us back the shape that we have to give us back our front shape as so you can guys, see the i'll shape. be doing the same thing on the other part so i'm just going to place this part on this just like this and i'm just going to shape it out as well so guys after shaping it out as you can see i have my front shape back so what i'll be doing is securing this part i'm just going to stitch on that part by half an inch just to hold it in place i'm just going to stitch that part so after stitching this is what i have now to join my short together i'm just going to take one part of the front and one part of the back i'm just going to place them on each other this way you place one part of the front and one part of the back together then after placing it i'm just going to stitch half an inch straight down 
I'll also do the same thing for this other part, stitch half an inch straight down. So guys, after stitching, this is what I have. So what I'll be doing next is I'll open it up and I'll place them together. I'll place the both of them together just like this. After placing it together, on the front part, I'm just going to stitch half an inch straight down to that crotch line. So you stitch half an inch straight down to that line. So after stitching, this is what I have, as you can see, on that front part. So now I'll be placing my measurements. So on the waistline, I'm going to place my waist measurement divided by 2. I'll chalk it out. So my waist divided by 2 is 15 inches. I chalked it out. And from that point, I'm just going to place my tape down to my hip line. And now from that hip line, I'm just going to take my hip measurement divided by 2. So I open it up this way and chalk out my hip measurement divided by 2, which gave me 20 inches. So I just chalked out that 20 inches. Now I'll go ahead to just connect that line together. So from that waist, I'll connect it to my hip measurement. And from my hip measurement, I'm just going to connect it straight down to the crotch using half an inch from that point. Just chalk half an inch there. So what I'll do now is I'll be stitching on that line that I just chalked out. So after stitching, guys, this is what I have. So what I'll be doing next is I'll open it up and I'm just going to be joining the two flaps together. So I'll open it up this way and make sure the two lines are together just like this. So after placing it together, what I'll be doing is stitching half an inch straight down. So after stitching, guys, this is what I have. And I'll be attaching a zip on the side. So I'm just going to open it up to where I want my zip to stop. So after doing that, I will chalk what I have on that waistline. And I'll be cutting my band. So I cut out 4.5 inches. On fold, it will give me 2.5. So I'm just going to place it on the waist and stitch half an inch straight down. So after stitching, I'll go ahead to attach my zipper to it and this is the final result. As you can see, this is what it looks like. Hope this tutorial was helpful. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos. Bye!